this iron shoals and in today's show we show you how to make uh, a plain text effect in cinema 4d and this is what it's gonna look like as you can see um, the text flies in letter by letter we can do this by keyframing but who wants to do that it takes too long um, and also let's render this and see what it looks like when it's rendered as you can see it looks quite sexy uh, got some lighting effects going on here and the background so let's get to it let's create a new scene okay um, create a text go to MoGraph and MoText click on the text click on object and rename it Okay, whatever, I'll name it tutorial just to show you how to change it. Then go to font, change the font to whichever you like. Okay, uh, increase the depth to around 70 and go to caps, create a fillet cap and again fillet cap and um, go to MoGraph Effector and click on Plane then go to Fall Off uh, change the shape from Infinite to Box and then go to oh uh, never mind now change the size of this make it a bit longer and maybe higher Okay, and just drag this in the middle, then go to parameter and take down the py uh, parameter to zero. Alright, drag this up a little. Now uh, the px, no, no, never mind, not the px, the pz, uh, you have to increase that. Um, don't really understand why it's doing the whole okay okay now I understand you just have to drag it to um, this side so it works okay and drag the PZ to minus uh, 3000 and then drag this into the middle all right now zoom in and uh, go to keyframe 0 and click on plane set the keyframe and go to frame 60 or whatever frame you like and drag this until the whole text comes in and create a new keyframe and let's play it let's see what it looks like so as you can see the text flies in letter by letter um, now go to uh, parameter and click on rotation and just mess around with that uh, H you can add 37 uh, RP you can subtract to around 28 and RB add to around 35 these settings mostly work for me and let's see as you can see it flies in with an angle and it looks pretty nice okay so now let's create our colors for the text so double click on the material box double click on the material um, select color go to color oops never mind go to texture and click on gradient and um, click on the icon go to 2d uh, change it to circular 2d circular change this color to dark gray change the white color to uh, black okay and go to 
what is it where it's a light icon um, select background then drag this material over to the background okay and if you render this right now as you can see there's already a gradient background all right um, now let's create the text color so double click again um, just select whatever color you like and go to reflection uh, select friend self or fres fresnel I think it is uh, all right and drag this over onto the text and it's looking quite all right right now not bad but we can add some lighting effects and to do that just create a plane uh, enlarge the plane drag it over the text just so much that you can't see it if you're looking at the text okay uh, and create a new material again change the color to white go to luminance um, change the luminance color to warm uh, orange okay and increase the brightness to 145 and drag this over to the plane and uh, click on the plane selected uh, hit control C control V uh, on the keyboard and spin this around just so it's under an angle then drag this onto the side of our text okay and uh, again hit control C control V to copy and paste our plane and drag it over to this side of the text and spin it around okay now go to render settings effect global illumination go to iridense catch and change the stochastic samples to low and record density to low okay and let's render this and see what it looks like so as you can see we have a lot of reflections a lot of nice colors uh, really nice uh, looking intro so far and as you can see the text flies in here um, you can mess around with the camera if you want to um, so we can create a camera so go to light icon create a camera go to camera scene cameras camera okay um, go to frame zero set a keyframe at wherever you can you want the camera to be and when the text flies in set another keyframe and then just a few frames after drag the camera to whatever to wherever you want then set another keyframe and go to frame 80 just a little bit more um, and change the camera and keyframe it and let's play our intro uh, the camera moves around pretty randomly but I don't really care you can you can change it to whatever you want you can increase uh, create more frames and drag this a bit more so that it doesn't look so cheesy okay and let's play this okay that's a bit better all right so I think that's pretty much it for the tutorials um, thank you for watching
please thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to get this tutorial up on uh, Chrome Designs Tutorials channel. I don't know if it's going to work, but I hope it does. I uh, hope he accepts it. Accepts it. He. I hope he uh, uploaded uploads it. Uh, <laughs> my English is so bad. Uh, okay. So I'm going to have to wrap this up. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.